April 5, 1815, on the remote Indonesian island of Sumbawe, Mount Tambora begins to rumble. For five days it growls louder and louder. Then, on the evening of April 10th, it explodes with the force of 800 megatons, four times stronger than the largest nuclear bomb ever tested. The blast is heard 1,600 miles away in Sumatra. Ash shoots 27 miles into the sky. Three entire kingdoms on the island, Tambora, Pekat, and Sanjar, vanish overnight. Over the next three days, pyroclastic flows and tsunamis kill almost everyone within 40 miles. 10,000 die instantly. Another 80,000 starve in the following months as every crop, animal, and fish is buried under meters of ash. Total death toll, at least 90,000. But the real catastrophe is still coming. 100 billion tons of ash and sulfur circle the globe, blocking the sun. 1816 becomes the year without a summer. Snow falls in New York in June. Frost kills crops in July across Europe and North America. Grain prices explode. Tens of thousands starve from Ireland to China. Riots break out in Britain and France. Typhus sweeps through the hungry crowds. In Germany, crop failure leaves horses starving. A young inventor named Carl Dre decides humans need a new way to travel. In 1817, he unveils the world's first bicycle. One volcano. 90,000 dead on the spot, millions more from famine, and it accidentally gave us both Frankenstein and the bicycle. That was Tambora, 1815, the eruption that changed the world.